Are you visiting Charleston and looking for some adventure? Or maybe you're a resident looking to shake things up and reconnect with your city. Either way, I'm Jeremy Feldman with Lively Charleston and today we're laying out three things that you can do right here in Charleston. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with everything Charleston. First stop on our list is the Mace Brown Museum of Natural History at the College of Charleston. A public natural history museum located on the College of Charleston campus, this museum is home to over 15,000 fossils from around the globe, including species native to the Carolinas. Not only is the museum a great place to visit for any budding interest in archaeology or the past, it also supports the internationally respected research occurring at the school. And of course, it's free to visit, but donations are welcome. Keeping with the historical theme, a visit to the second oldest cemetery in Charleston, the Unitarian Church Cemetery is sure to lend a unique glimpse into the city's colorful past. Unique in its appearance, the cemetery features maintained walking paths, but the rest of the plots are being overtaken by vines and wildlife. The Unitarians supposedly believe that this represents a giving back to nature after death. Regardless of the stories and tales of spooky ghost sightings, a walk through Unitarian Cemetery will connect you to Charleston's rich history in a unique way. So maybe spooky graveyards and fossils aren't your thing. In that case, we recommend a stroll along the Ravenel Bridge. With construction starting in 2001 and completed in 2005, this cable stayed bridge is the third largest in the Western Hemisphere, spanning 1,546 feet across. With walking and biking lanes, a trek across this marvel of engineering will offer breathtaking views of Charleston Harbor and downtown. Of course, snapping a few pictures from the banks of Waterfront Park or Patriots Point isn't a bad idea either. Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Just wanted to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure to download your free Ultimate Guide to Charleston and Charleston Real Estate. This guide has everything you need to know about every area of Charleston including the average home price, the popular neighborhoods, the local schools, the parks, and fun things to do nearby. Just click the link in the description to download your free copy. To further enjoy the beautiful weather, a walk along the Battery is a great way to spend an afternoon in the sun. A landmark defensive seawall aptly named for the cannon batteries entrenched here during the Civil War, it is famously flanked by massive antebellum homes. With views reaching out to Charleston Harbor, Castle Pinckney, and Fort Sumter, it's perfect for a panorama look around the peninsula. A walk through White Point Gardens is an added bonus for a leisurely stroll underneath the trees. Speaking of trees, last on our list is one of the oldest living things in the country, the Angel Oak. Estimated to be four to 500 years old, the Angel Oak stands over 60 feet tall and measures roughly 28 feet in circumference with the longest branch measuring 187 feet long. An absolute must see for anyone visiting Charleston, we recommend bringing some food and setting up for a picnic at this iconic location on Johns Island. Well, there you have it, our list of three things to do here in Charleston. So if you're visiting or simply looking to reconnect with the city you call home, I hope you found something from this list helpful. And if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Remind me to smile more. I look grump I look grumpy on camera. I'm like